This is a local, gosh, I don't know if it's local anymore, grown. It says USA on the label. This is what's called an artichoke. Uh, artichoke is what they used to call it. That's what it looks like from above and then to the side. And it has, um, I don't know what you call this. This would be where the zenith would be if it was a planet with a pole. Um, but this is what I spoke of um, with the vents that uh, have s separated. And for my purpose at the moment, um, today on the tell a vision, they spoke of polar vortex um, as an, an upper orbit um, storm or, or force that swirls. Um, they don't normally go that in depth in their broadcast, but they brought in a chief meteorologist that was seated at a table at Channel 2. So, um, if each one of these petals, that's what it feels like, is the separation of the polar vortex at the highest orbit level in where I am currently. So th it is a devastating effect and it is hurting my person at the moment. I don't feel like it's the natural storm and symmetry that I was born into. It feels like uh, somehow the clock system has spun in a direction that it has separated um, by high orbit magnets um, and it is affecting me at ground level and instead of having a um, instead of having a spherical shape of a sphere like a basketball is it now feels more like this odd shape that has um, vented almost and I don't know if possibly this has to do with different heat vents and radiological effects that I'm also um, possibly suffering from with the um, anemia diagnosis by the, if you have one a tier of doctors, knowledge, medical knowledge, the land doctors over here I don't know um, what level they're functioning off of and how much they know or they don't know, um, but they've used the word anemia, a low 1D level word. However, the cell phones and the cell carriers at Telefonica level are disclosing they're working at a 5G level. 5G. I, at ground level, don't know and can't verify that's an acknowledgement, but I don't know by whom. And the land doctors for the anemia diagnosis, they don't even say myoglobin anemia. Myoglobin anemia was an NIH release on a television show that's based off of something, I don't know, but again, I don't know how broadcasting protects itself behind their um, studio labels. I don't know who owns what, who's involved with what. I have not gotten involved with that. I don't even know how to research to that level. Um, I was never introduced to that form of human industry or accounting method or any of that stuff. I don't even know people who do it um, that I'm aware of. Um, I know, um, again, I have one relative that works at a something or other, but that's even, I'm not, that's intermittent that um, she's more my son's godmother. Let's just put it that way, my first son. So for me, um, 
blood disorder of anemia, what happens is in radio, uh, high radiological, whatever, the first thing they tell you is um, you'll see signs of anemia. So I'm suffering from a blood disorder in New York. Um, and I'm not quite sure at what caliber the doctors are. And I don't know how to find or ask a ship doctor, the ones that the U.S. Coast Guard protect, in their knowing of things, since the land occupants have forcefully open designed and are working in a system of I don't know how it works. Nobody's acknowledged it to us. Nobody has been forthcoming or forthright. They have not taught us what laws they are writing for themselves and not sharing with everybody else. Um, it, it's a secret league and a secret justice that I'm not a part of. And I don't know how they're holding me accountable for things that in criminal behavior that they may be participating in and trying to protect and cover themselves only and throwing me in an exposure and harm's way. So there's a lot involved in this. I just know I have one of their participants have told me I have something called an anemia. It's been verified several times through the insurance, the, the state provided insurance company, since I have no job, no money, and no access to travel or family members outside of North America that I'm aware of. I don't even really have access to travel to family members inside North America. Um, so I'm in, humans also acknowledge that there's something called an ozone. They've said it on broadcast several times. Um, that there's a hole in the ozone. And I have acknowledgement by ideograph or lithograph on a artificial intelligence, my Google feed, through the cell phone, um, through the 5G carrier, that there's an O blood type on the American and Pacific side and somewhere in Central Europe there's an A safety zone, which is what my blood was naturally a kindred to. That's all I know. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Catarusa. Um, Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Earth, um, solar system, Milky Way, universe, galaxy is broken. And so this is what a real artichoke looks like, the vegetable the natural occurring vegetable when a farmer plants this. Um, it, I put a video reference up of somebody else reporting at the farm level. I'm only able, I don't have a farm access, um, but I do have Lewis on a whim, I suppose, bought this. I didn't ask for it. He just um, bought it. I saw it in the refrigerator. I thought I would mention it because I have mentioned it before, but this is a real live, and this is prop, not propaganda. I'm not trying to sell artichokes. I'm not trying to sell other things. I'm just tying in my physicality and the voice usage of the vernacular and words that my linear or lineage heritage has been exposed to at a very low level um, while waiting for a very special fidelity, fidelis, fidelity marriage that has not come to fruition because of several ground land events that have happened. And I don't know how to inquire, and I never did. The last instruction I got was that he would be back. And that he would come for me when the time was right. I'm still waiting. It's November. November. 23rd, 2021.